perfect. Everybody, what's what is happening, y'all, man? Welcome to today's edition of Swag Talk. Of course, this is a show we cover the swag inside and out. I am your tour guide around the swag. See where I was coming at you. And today, man, we're gonna do a little bit of swag talk time machine, man. We got um, swag talk is entering its second year on YouTube, man. Second birthday coming up on Saturday, so I decided to do something a, a little bit different today. Um, I wanted to just look back at a, a, a great game, man. Um, this was a game that if you if you know anything about Swag Sports, then you know um, Jerry Rice, you know um, Willie Titan, you know Mar Marino Castle, you know uh, Archie Cooley, you know all this stuff, man. And, and I wanted to just – I just wanted to show a little love to a, a really great football game while we are in the doldrums. Um, we do got spring games coming up this weekend. Uh, Southern and Alcorn um, both have spring games uh, coming up this, this weekend. So uh, we got that coming at you. And we also got, you know, some coaching news going on. You know, Southern um, reportedly going to hire a coach in the next couple of days. Um, there are all reports, but I want to I want to wait till everything's official before I make my my video about it. So um, we're just gonna um, talk chop it up about this game, man, and you know have a little light celebration for Swag Talk entering his second second having his second birthday coming up and, and the whole nine. So um, man, y'all go ahead and check out those socials there on the screen down below: Facebook is Swag Talk, Instagram Swag Talk, Twitter Swag Talk seventy six. Um, hit that subscription button so we can go ahead and. Continue our march up to 900. Um, if you're already subscribed, man, thank you. If you haven't, why don't you go ahead and hit that button. Hit that like button while you're here, too. And hit that notification bell to be alerted to anything that drops, man. So uh, let's go ahead and jump this thing off, man. This this is a, a game that was probably one of the greatest games ever in SWAC football. Um, I, was about, I was about eight at the time, so I didn't really know much into this, uh, I I did have the opportunity uh, as a young buck to see both these teams play. Don't really don't really have clear you know clear recognition on on those teams. I just know um, that they were great, and I was in the stadium when these team when these two teams were playing, and uh, they both you know they both got a lot of they both had a lot of things great about them. All corn had a really really great defense. Um, Valley, of course, was led by an offense that was. It, it was amazing. So um, we're going to kind of just talk about this game, man. I found an article on HBCU Game Day. This article is from uh, 2019. So, you know, I just want, I'm just using this as a guide. Um, I also have a light box score to talk about. And the game is on YouTube. Um, if you don't know, uh, there, it's broken up into three parts. I'll put the uh, – I, I, I'll make a playlist of uh, the three videos, and I'll post a link to the playlist in the description. So you can check it out if you haven't if you haven't watched it, man. Because this is this was some great football. So um, obviously this was in 1984. Um, this game was, was slated to be played at Valley, but the demand for the game was so so high that they moved this game to Jackson and they moved it to a Sunday. So this was just this was just a crazy crazy atmosphere. Over 63,000 people at this game. Uh, TV broadcast, uh, the actual the actual TV channel. Um, they they decided that they would not show the NFL game that day. Um, the channel with WLBT uh, in Jackson. Um, they decided they would not they would not show the the NFL game um, that Sunday because the demand for for everybody watching this game was that huge that they wanted to show it on a on a local basis unopposed so 
Um, they also gave each school one one scholarship, um, um, and and that you know that was one of the one of the things that that they did. So um, coming into this game, man, Valley was obviously was supposed to be the home team. They moved this game. Um, Valley, these numbers are ridiculous. We're gonna look, I'm gonna give you their their season up until this point and after this game. Uh, they opened up their season defeating Kentucky State eighty six to nothing. Uh, they beat Washburn 77-15. They beat Jackson State 49-32. They beat Southern 63 to 45. I was oh, excuse me, I was at that game, man. I don't remember any, I just remember the score. I don't remember that game at all. But I, I know that they put a hurting on Southern that, that night. Uh, they beat Groundland 48 to 36. They beat Texas Southern 55-42. They beat Prairie 71 to 6. Uh they they would Dropped the all corn game by a score of 42-28. And like I said, we'll talk about that game in a minute. Uh, they beat Alabama State the following week, 49-7. And then they beat Langston, 83-11 to close out the regular season. They would go to the 1AA playoffs where they would face Louisiana Tech and lose that game by a score of 66-19. Uh, all corn comes into this game beating Gremlin, 27-13. They beat Alabama State, 52 to nothing. They beat South Carolina State 41 to 6. They beat Texas Southern 45 16. They beat Southern 44 16. They beat FAMU 51 14. They beat Valley 42 28. They beat Prairie View 35 to 12. And they closed out their regular season beating Jackson State 17 13. They would get a bye in the first round of the playoffs. And second round of playoffs, they would play Louisiana Tech. And the Bulldogs beat them 44-21. So both teams um, had their season ended by Louisiana Tech. Uh, both teams came into this game undefeated. Um, and Alcorn left undefeated in SWAC and undefeated regular season. Uh, that was um, that was uh, um, Valley's only regular season loss. And they would finish with two losses on the season. And they would finish at um, – they would finish – with a record of nine and two, which is their best record. Um, they haven't, they haven't had a record close to nine and two since um, this, that was probably the best, the best team Valley's had um, in, in, in decades. Um, they, they, I'm not, I'm not using this to pile on Valley, but this is just for perspective. Uh, Valley only won seven games two times after that. So the program just really, Never could reach those heights or even close to those heights uh, after that. All corner, of course, would go on to um, have a have a run uh, with Steve McNair in a few years, and then they would, you know, have a Fred McNair era as a head coach. Um, now, so the, you know, All Corner is, is still doing what All Corner does. Uh, coming into this game, they um, this was billed as an offense versus defense game. Like I said, Valley. Had a tremendous offense. Alcorn's defense was was very tough, but Alcorn actually had a really good offense this year. Um, they had, they had all they had an offense that was primarily a running offense uh, led by Perry Quarles, Perry, uh, Perry Quarles, and they ran. They averaged four hundred and thirty six yards a game on offense. So those those are not sloppy numbers. Uh, they averaged forty four points per game. Uh, any year, those two numbers will probably lead your league. Um, those two numbers were second in the country and second in the SWAC. So that shows you the level of dominance that Valley's offense had. Uh, Valley was fifth in the nation uh, in offense. Um, they 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 call it offense the offense of the 90s, even though this was the 80s. This was an offense that was predicated on multiple wide receivers, um, spread you out. You know, short passes, you know, hit you with long passes, but really spread you out uh, four or five receivers. They would stack them. You know, it was just, you know, tremendous. You know, it was something that a lot of teams hadn't really seen, so it was tough to defend. Um, Valley averaged 64 points per game and uh, 666 yards per game. So this offense was t- was just amazing. Um, and Alcorn's offense w- was good, too, was great. But they didn't get the attention because they they were overshadowed in their league. Um, Valley came into this game with some with holding some records. Uh, the they um, they had 
the team they had the record for um pass completions in a game with 50 against Southern and Prairie View. Uh they had the single game passing yard passing yardage record 699 yards versus Kentucky State. 11 touchdown passes in the game versus Kentucky State. Most attempts without an interception 67 without uh against Kentucky State as well. That broke the record of 54. So that that was a totally efficient game. Uh, most of, uh, let's see, uh, passing yards for two teams, uh, Kentucky State, uh, that game broke that record 892 yards, although, se- although almost 700 of those, of those yards was on the Valley. Uh, Kentucky State did get their name in the record book because they threw for 192 yards. Uh, individual records, uh, these are national records. Uh, pass attempts, where they tied with 77 against Southern. Um, that tied a record um, held by Neil Lomax at Portland State. Uh, pass completions, 46 by Willie Titan, also against Southern. Passing yards, 599 for Willie Titan versus Prairie View. They broke the record of 527. Uh, touchdown passes in a game. Willie Titan had nine against Kentucky State. A touchdown responsible for uh, nine, also against Kentucky State. Pass reception, uh, yard, pass, uh, receiving yards, Jerry Rice, 294 yards versus Kentucky State. That broke his, that broke his own record, um, uh, 279. Uh, touchdown receptions, Jerry Rice with five, uh, against Kentucky State and Prairie View. Uh, Division One AA singles, Division One AA records, uh, 43 touchdown passes in a season. For uh, Willie Titan, that broke the record of 37. 46 touchdowns responsible for that broke the record of 42. Touchdown receptions, Jerry Rice with 21. That broke the record of 15. So he shattered that record. Um, Division I career records, Division I double career records, recept- uh, reception yards, 4,384 4, for Jerry Rice. That broke the record of 3,187. That just totally shattered that record. Um, Let's see where we at. All right, did I lose? Okay. All right, and coming into this game, Valley was approaching some records. Uh, they were approaching the uh, record of pass, uh, the pass complete, the uh, pass completion record, a two ninety nine, um, which was held by Neil Lomax. Willie Titan needed forty five uh, completions to tie that record. Uh, season passing yard is a 4,094. He needed five. Uh, Willie Titan needed 564 to tie that record. Uh, 4,157 yards of total offense. Uh, Willie Titan needed 585 to tie that record. Uh, pass, pass receptions. Um, Jerry Rice had that record itself, 102. Uh, he needed 16 to tie that record. Uh, receiving yards. Jerry Rice had that record already from the past season. Uh, 1,450, he needed uh, 69 yards to tie that record. Uh, Points scored 136 by Rich Ehrenberg of Columbia. And uh, Jerry Rice needed 10, 10 points to tie that record. Awesome. Um, uh, some SWAC records. Valley uh, has already broken 11 SWAC records and individual season records. Um, and, 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 and is in range of breaking more. Um, the pass attempt record. Um, they broke that that season. The completion record, they broke that. Uh, the passing yards on a season, they broke that. Touchdown passes, they broke that individually. Uh, the pass attempt record, pass completion record, passing yard record, touchdown pass record, uh, they broke those. Uh, most plays in the game, uh, they broke that record. Total offense broke that record. Touchdown catches on a season broke that record. Um, and then they were approaching the points. Uh, the point, the total points scored record. Uh, they only needed 13 points uh, coming into this game to break that record of 462, which obviously they would break. Um, and then they had a multitude of career records. So this this offense just really, you know, really <laughs> made it made it just it was it, it's it's really hard to put into words what they did. But um, those are numbers that a lot of teams put up now, you know, 4,000 yards, guys catching 100 yards, 100 uh, receptions. You know, th- a lot of those numbers are tough to even break in college football now. Um, Jerry Rice obviously was his go-to guy, 
But his second leading receiver was Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas had 66 catches for 934 yards coming into this game. So he had number one receiver numbers as the number two guy. They also had uh, three other receivers that caught at least five touchdowns that year. So he, you know, anybody on this team could have got it done. You know, it was just one of those things. They just, you know, they, they, they offense just really just knew how to, how to score. They knew how to move the football. Uh, they were innovative. And, you know, they had had their way with a lot of people. Uh, Alcorn was determined to come into this game and, and not, and not let that happen. Um, Alcorn uh, defensively, they, they were going to come in and they were going to try to smack, smack Valley in the mouth. Um, this game definitely lived up to the hype. Like I said, over 63,000 people showed up at this game, 63,808. Um, uh, Alcorn total 526 yards uh, offense in this game led by uh, Perry Qualls, who had 211 yards on the ground. He had a school record five touchdowns uh, in this game. Um, he he said, um, I expected to get the ball a lot. Uh, we had eight players, eight plays in our game. Seven of them called for me to get the ball, and one was for the fullback. Uh, his big day helped Alcorn control the time of possession. They had the ball for 38 minutes and 40 seconds, holding valid at 22 minutes and 20 seconds. Now, for most offenses, if they were that that far behind in time of possession, you know, you would be worried. But, all, but Valley's offense didn't need a lot of time to score. Um, Isaac Holt, who was a great great himself, Dallas Cowboy, great um, Minnesota Vikings. Um, he 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 held. Now keep this in mind. He held Jerry Rice to a, a season low of eight catches for 134 yards and one touchdown. That's a season high for some guy for some guys, man. That was a bad game for Jerry Rice. Eight catches for 134 yards. Um, he he did it. He did his job, man. He knew he had to go up against this man, and he he really did his job. And Isaac Holt said after the game, somebody said that he's all world. So if you shut him down, you must be all universe. So <laughs> he was feeling himself after that game. Uh, it was a it was a great great victory in in in, our, in all corners of eyes because they felt like they didn't get any attention coming into this game. Uh, Valley got all the attention and publicity, but they're gonna have to come to all corner. Now, Coach Castle said uh, we got the better team and the prettier campus. And you know if you know Coach Ka- Coach Castle, you know he always was willing to talk a little noise. So uh, he he got him a couple shots in right there. Uh, more than who won or lost the game, the national attention. Garnered uh, by the game stands out as memorable over f- almost 40 years later uh, with national television. Um, with, with things now, it's kind of different. But this game, like I said, this game was moved from Saturday to s- move from Valley um, to a Sunday in Jackson. And both presidents really waited to the last minute to determine if they should even have this game televised, which, you know, is, is something that I'm glad they decided to do because, you know, there's always this that stigma that, you know, if you televise the game, people are not going to show up. I guess when they found out that the game was going to be a sellout, they 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 were uh, they were fine with uh, the game being on TV. Uh, looking at some uh, some light box score numbers, um, Alcorn scored first. Uh, Qualls had a nine-yard touchdown run. Uh, Alcorn drove uh, 63 yards on uh, eight plays. Um, they opened up with a big a big pass play to start the game. And uh, that that got them in in inside the forty, and it um it took them three minutes and uh, fourteen seconds time of possession to score that that touchdown. Uh, they led that at that point uh, six to nothing. Um, Armstrong caught a touchdown for Valley to um give Alcorn to give Valley the lead um, as Alcorn missed that extra point. Uh, Titan threw a fourteen yard pass to Armstrong. Extra point was good. Valley drove 90 yards on six plays, one run, five passes. Um, uh, key play was uh, Titan hit Armstrong for 40 yards and then 39 yards. Uh, and penalties against Alcorn helped them get down the field. That took a minute and 53 seconds off the clock. Uh, they, they scored that touchdown with 9.53 left in the first quarter. Uh, Qualls. Had, Qualls had the last touchdown in the first quarter. He had a five-yard run, extra point good. Uh, Alcorn drove 66, 66 yards on six plays, two runs, four passes. 
Uh, he had uh, five carries for 39 yards on that drive. Took 216 off the clock. Uh, 730. All corn extended the lead. Uh, Quarles got another touchdown run this time for three yards out. Uh, all corn drove 49 yards in nine plays. Uh, they ran about five times, threw it four. Uh, Liggins had a 20 yard punt for all for Valley. Uh, there was a 36 yard pass from Miles to uh, Slick Barney. Um, time of possession 344. Um, time of, uh, the score was 703 in the second quarter. All corn led 20 to 7. And then Qualls caught a 10 yard pass from Miles. Um, and then Walker caught a pass from Miles for the two point conversion. All corn drove 47 yards on six plays, two runs, four passes. Uh, that was a 21-yard pass from Miles to Qualls and a 15-yard face mask penalty against Valley to uh, keep that drive going. Alcorn took 324 off the clock and scored that touchdown with 301 left in the second quarter, giving them a 28-7 lead in the half at the at the half. Uh, second quarter, third quarter, Valley would own the third quarter. They would score two touchdowns. Uh, Jerry Rice cut his only touchdown of the game uh, from 35 yards out uh, from Willie Titan. That's the point was no good. Uh, Valley drove 45 yards in two plays, one run, one pass, uh, following um, Thomas, um, following a Thomas interception of Miles. Valley took 24 seconds to score. Time, uh, time, time of the score was 543, and all corner at 28-13. Uh, Titan would get a one-yard run for Valley for their second touchdown in the third quarter. Uh, Carl Bonham had a two-point conversion run. Valley drove 48 yards on five plays, three runs, two passes, following an interception of Miles. Uh, the key plays were Titan, 20-yard pass to Hill, and a 15-yard penalty against Alcorn for having 12 players on the field. Time of possession, 147. Uh, Thomas scored 222 in the third. Score at that point, 28-21. Valley would tie the game up in the fourth quarter when uh, Bynum got a five-yard touchdown run, extra point good. Uh, Valley drove 50 yards. On seven plays, three runs, four passes. At the 26-yard punt return by Thomas, uh, Titan completed three or four passes, and Bynum carried three times for 20 yards on the drive. Uh, time of possession, 149. Time of, of the score, 14:46. So very early in the fourth quarter, uh, this game was tied at 28. Alcorn had this game on lock at half. Uh, Valley scored three touchdowns early in the, in the second half and made this a much different game. Uh, Alcorn would score, uh, we would answer that score with a one yard run by Perry Qualls, his last of the game, giving him five on the night. Uh, he drove 80, uh, they drove 80 yards on 15 plays, 12 runs, three passes. Uh, Qualls had 11 carries and a six, 18 yard pass from Miles to Barney, uh, helped them in that drive. They took 706 off the clock. This was a man's drive. This was a we going to win this game type of drive. You know, we going to respond. Valley got all the momentum now. We're going we gonna to stifle all of that with a ball control, ball control drive. And they did that. They took 706 off the clock. And they had a minute and 56, 51 seconds left after they scored. They had a seven-point lead at that point, 35 to 28. And then Isaac Holt slammed the door on Valley with a 29-yard pick six. Uh, extra point was good. Um that score came with 16 seconds left in the game, and Alcorn would win this game by a score of 42 to 28. Uh, Marino Castle said on the game-winning drive, "We just sucked it up." I told I told him, meaning Perry Qualls, um, he just had to get it. There was no way he wouldn't get it. I'm just like Joe Lewis. I'm glad I. Oh, excuse me. I'm glad I went. I, what is? I can't see. Sorry, my my, oh, that's all so blurry. I can't read that. <laughs> Sorry, um, Archie Cooley said they didn't beat me at my own game. They beat me with Alcorn's game. Um, after this game, Alcorn would go to Prairie View, uh, who lost to Fairview forty-one to eight on Saturday, and Valley is hosting Alabama State, who lost to Grambling seventeen to six. So both of those teams headed into games, and they both would win those games. Uh, Qualls finished with 211 rushing yards, four touchdowns, 37 carries. 
Longest run was 24 yards. Um, Miles had nine carries for 28, 28 yards. That sack yardage. Uh, and they everybody else combined for uh, 11 carries. So Qualls was the workhorse man. 37 carries. They put the they put the rocket on his back and they they made him tote that load. Uh, Miles was 16 or 30 passing. He had one touchdown, three interceptions, 306 yards. He had a longer 60. Uh, Qualls led the team with five receptions for 76 yards. Uh, Barney, four for 79. Uh, Joe, two for 87. Walker, two for 30. Coleman, one for 19. Lawrence, one for nine. Mack, one for seven. Uh, Valley was led by Carl Bynum on the ground with 14 carries for 52 yards and one touchdown. Tied in nine for 20 and a touchdown. Uh, Williams, one for nine. Corley, one for one. Uh, Titan, five, 56, 26 to 52 passing, two touchdowns, four interceptions, 383 yards. His long was 40. Jerry Rice was 0 for 1 with an interception. Rice caught eight passes for 134 yards, one touchdown. His long was 35. Uh, Armstrong, seven for 122, one touchdown. His long was 40. Thomas, four for 43. Uh, the bar Le- LeBron, Four for 43, Wade, two for 23, Hill, one for 18. So, like I said, man, this was a game where, you know, it was a back and forth affair. Um, Alcorn seemed like they were going to, you know, run away with this game. Uh, Valley showed what they had, and they offense, you know, made made a good run. Alcorn scored two big touchdowns, took slam the door on Valley, and pick up the win. So, I just wanted to share this with you guys. And like I said, I'm going to post in the uh, description. Um, the uh, a playlist for the three videos of this game. If you want to sit back and watch them, I I I I, I highly recommend that you do. Um, if maybe you've seen it before, you should watch it again. If you haven't and you want to see a little bit of swag history and see why a lot of people always say what they say about swag football back in the day, then you should check this out. So I'm your tour guide around the swag. See what else coming at you, man. And I'm signing out. Um, we'll be back on Thursday with a live edition of Swag Smoke. Uh, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to try to have some content from the Southern Spring game on Saturday. And um, we'll be back Sunday with another edition of Swag Talk. So we'll catch y'all in. Y'all enjoy y'all week. And we'll catch y'all on the rebound. Peace.